video, we want to look at the meaning of coordinates on the Cartesian grid. So let us first consider uh, coordinate A, and let's give that coordinates 3, 2. I think most of you would know how to plot this. You know that you go start at the origin, and you count 1, 2, 3 spaces in the x direction, followed by 2 in the y direction, and you place point A right there at 3, 2. If I were to give you point B, which was at negative 3, 2, you would know that you go 3 units to the left and 2 units up to plot point B right there. If I give you point C, which is at 3, negative 2, you know that just like A, you go 3 units to the right from the origin and two units down, and that gives you the point C. Now let's make sure we know what the meaning of all of this is. First of all, let's come up with some terminology. Um, point A is what we is plotted in what's called the first quadrant of the Cartesian grid. You can see it's divided into quarters, and we usually use Roman numerals for quadrant numbers. And when we talk about quadrants, we actually rotate around in the uh, counterclockwise direction. And so quadrant 2 would be to the upper left, and quadrant 3 would be to the lower left, and quadrant 4 is over here where point C is, um, and that would then rotate us all the way back around to quadrant 1. So point A is in quadrant one point B is in quadrant two, and there are no points yet in quadrant three that are given, and point C is in quadrant four. Um, now let's make sure we understand the meaning of the coordinates. So when we say that A is three comma two, the three means that we went three spaces to the right. But what are we going from? Well, you may have started at the origin, but what you're doing is you're moving away from the axis that I just labeled as the y-axis. So the 3 indicates that you have to go 3 units to the right of the y-axis. So we often refer to this as the x-coordinate. The x-coordinate is the distance from the y-axis, the shortest distance um, being 3 units. If I want to look at the 2, the a the point A was two units up. That would be its Y value. What does that mean? It's two units up from the X axis, which I will label right here. So three, two means three units to the right of the Y axis and two units above the X axis. When I turn around and look at point B, the negative three, two means that I go three units to the left of the Y axis and then I go two units up from the, the x-axis. Um, so the x-coordinate is how far you are from the y-axis, and the y-coordinate is how far you are from the x-axis. Um, in the case of x-coordinates, positive values are to the right, negative to the left. In the case of y-coordinates, positive values are up, and negative values are down. Now let's just consider a couple more points. Um, obviously, 0, 0 has a special name. We call that the origin. That is where the axes come together. Um, so 0, 0 means you are no units from the x-axis and no units from the y-axis. Um, let's consider a couple of others. So let's consider point E, and we will place that at negative 3, 0. So the negative 3 in the x direction means you go 3 units to the left, 1, 2, 3, but you don't go any units up or down. So just quickly, point D was the origin, and point E is on the x-axis. So if you have no y value, we have a 0 here for the y value, um, that indicates that you are on uh, the x-axis. And just one final example, if you had 0, 2, there is no x value, so that means you are on the y-axis. So 0 x value 
means that the point must be on the y-axis. So 0, 2 is on the y-axis, 2 units up, so point F is directly on the y-axis.